This is exactly how I receive this vise. It needs a little bit of work, but shouldn't be too tough. Um, it's just a lot of cleanup and probably just a little bit of uh, oil in there. Um, straighten that handle out. Uh, but the biggest issue with this vise is the jaws. Um, they're broken. Looks like they were wood. And I just, it's hard to find these kind of jaws anyway to begin with. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is probably just make new wooden jaws it might be nice just for clamping down stuff that I don't want damaged. Uh, the other challenge here is getting these screws out. I have no idea if these are frozen in, but this one, the head is broken off. So I'm going to have to get that out of there before I can continue. <laughs> So I've got one here that won't come out. This was already snapped off, so I'm going to weld a nut on there and see if I can get it out with a wrench. Piece of cake. All right, it's time to lay down some color. So here's a selection that I pulled from my set of cans. We could go just old school gray like you see on most of the old tools. I've got John Deere green, some kind of bronze. We got a Cub Cadet yellow, International Harvester red, We've got this hammered green, blue satin, and Pontiac blue metallic. This is engine paint. And I'll tell you, this can is well over 30 years old. I, uh, 
I use this to paint an intake manifold on a 66 Le Mans that I had years and years ago. Who knows if anything will even come out of this can. So what color? What color? Hmm. All right, here's the finalists. That gray is the same color that I've used many times on some of my old equipment. I've got a table saw, I've got a band saw, radial arm saw. So I could just match my stuff. I've got International Red, which is kind of a, a favorite of mine. That would probably be as close to the original color of that vise as I could find. And then I've got this hammered green. And I'm thinking I want to go with that because it's the same color as my Welton vise. So maybe I'll just make a junior model of that one. Yeah, let's go with the hammered green. Just in case anybody was curious about this 30 year old paint, even though it's not going on the vise, I'm going to throw a sample out here and see if it actually works. Let's let that dry. Wow, that's strange. After 30 years, the paint still sprays just like regular spray paint. It smells like paint. But the color is gone. It's metallic, but it's not blue anymore. So, not to be wasteful, we can easily fix this. There. Got some nice silver paint next time I need to use it. Next we're going to work on the jaws. So I've got four different hardwoods I have to pick from here. This is maple, oak, walnut, and shadoa. Any one of these would work just fine. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is just go with the walnut. So I need to make this basically into a couple of jaws.
it looks tiny compared to this other vise. I don't know if one is ridiculously large or one is ridiculously small. But I think it turned out pretty good. And this is nice because this is a soft jaw option that I can use now. I just have to decide where to mount this thing. If you're still watching, thanks for sticking with me on this. And I'd like to also thank my Uncle Al who gave me this vise when I was out to visit him just a little while ago. So Uncle Al, hopefully it did your vice justice. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.